Yeah, this is Tiger from Robinji. Here you can see the SJ25 jet pack extruder. You can find on Robinji. Uh, maybe you can see our videos on YouTube that uh, this uh, extruder was tested by this one, uh, which is the PUM. Uh, so we have the, the heating zone set. The first one is a tire 170 and the, the, the same heating zone for the screw and barrel which is 175 so we don't need to take uh, to care about this uh, which is um, tell us the temperature about this uh, the the hopper and this uh, this area uh, in need okay so now we just uh, heating up if we just uh, need this kind of plastic and also you can see here that we have uh, POA and uh, this one is uh, PETG if we want to extrude the P POA I think that uh, we need to set the temperature to 190 and 195 or 200 or something like that uh, but uh, this PETG uh, and I think uh, the, the temperature will be much higher in like uh, 210 or 220 uh, centigrade. Um, question is that uh, if we test uh, this uh, extruder and use the uh, uh, PETG, that means the first round or second round all uh, just uh, uh, before that uh, before we uh, test uh, the low temperature material like uh, this PUM uh, if we I mean uh, uh, before that uh, if we just uh, test, test this and then we just want to uh, to uh, use the PUM uh, which is lower, mater uh, lower temperature material uh, we still need to set the temperature to 220 uh, 210 or 220 because uh, there is some some material I mean some uh, filament or uh, melt uh, pellet left inside this screw and barrel uh, which will stack this screw and barrel to uh, to turn I mean uh, also there is some left uh, uh, the tire uh, if we want to check uh, to clean uh, the tire as uh, you can maybe you can see our videos on YouTube that uh, you need to take gloves uh, to uh, to, uh, from, uh, to avoid from injury and then uh, use the uh, you, you also need to heat it up I mean hit the barrel and screw uh, tire up and then just uh, we, we screw off the the, the screw uh, up, up from this uh, tire, okay. Uh, okay, so that means uh, we can set the temperature to a higher uh, level uh, to avoid the uh, stock uh, for um, lower temperature uh, material uh, for other uh, from from previous uh, extrusion. Uh, so now uh, we just want to check this PM, uh, how it works. We just give, now we can, we can turn on the extruder, give it a speed. I see, now the temperature is, is still not reached the setting temperature. So yeah, we just uh, turn off the, the motor, the drive motor. Okay, because if, if the temperature do not reach uh, the same temperature, I mean the, the male temperature for the material, uh, for the material PM, PLO, PTG, uh, it will drive the motor to heat up, okay? So because, because it can't uh, rotate smoothly that uh, the uh, pellet left before inside this screw and barrel just to stack the screw and barrel uh, so yeah we, we just uh, uh, 
wait for the temperature to reach the steady temperature. Okay. Now the heating zone, we can see here for the barrel screw has reached the setting temperature. 135 on this. The fire temperature is still 220 uh, uh, centigrade lower than the uh, setting tem temperature. Yeah. So if we uh, I, I just want to repeat that uh, if we use uh, this PETG, uh, which is 210 or 220 temperature, uh, centigrade temperature before, I mean, ever before, now we just want to extrude this. So now, uh, uh, in this case, we need to state the temperature to 210. Uh, from the beginning because the PETG inside so if we just give it uh, a temperature 170 uh, 175 it, it, the PETG left inside the, the, the screw and the barrel doesn't melt so the, the motor will, will not uh, drive the screw to it's shooting now. Okay. That means uh, you can extrusion from a higher temperature to a lower temperature, but uh, uh, you can't do that uh, uh, reverse. I mean, uh, Wait for the temperature to reach 200. Okay, 205. Yeah, I think we, which is suitable for this PTT. Because of the size of this barrel and uh, screw, the, the size outside diameter is 60. So it takes time longer than the well zone extruder to heating up, okay? Compared with the well zone extruder, I think uh, yeah, the well zone has doing well with the uh, cover here to cover all the screw and barrel to avoid injury. You know. So uh, I think uh, when you are using this extruder, you, you need uh, to put a uh, Plate. I mean, uh, up from the, the extruder to tell others, to tell your colleague that uh, this machine is just uh, working, um, okay? So don't touch it.
for the sun to the juice. You can see the temperature of the screw and barrel has reached 205 and this dial now 190. Okay, let's give it a try. I just turned off. You hear the noises, that's uh, normal because I explained that uh, the pellet is also crammed with the screw and the barrel. Okay. Uh, you can see here. Now the in the hopper the, the pellet is just uh, like the end. Check out the dial. Uh, this dial is uh, three, millimeter, three millimeter dial. Uh, yeah, I explained that uh, this machine I used to test with the PUM uh, when it's out of uh, production or uh, out of robot day that uh, so now you can see up front that uh, the PTG come out there is still some PM left and let's check when we can get the PTG I have explained that uh, the, the diameter of the filament is some kind related with the tractor. So the, the speed of the tractor uh, faster it will uh, get the uh, filament thinner. Uh, if the speed of the tractor is slower than this is shorter, uh, then the you can see here the from the dial the diameter is like a three millimeter. Okay. You hear the beep, that means there is a bubble that you need to uh, dry the pellet. Okay. Also, there is another uh, option that uh, 
there is PUM inside of this PTG. So now we can just uh, uh, turn down the temperature and we'll check what temperature it still can extrusion out this PTG. You can see that uh, now the, the, the filament extrusion out is getting uh, wired. Okay, so uh, it's more like silk, I think. Yeah, uh, compared with the PL. Yeah, some, 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 some kind of uh, silky. Okay. You hear the pellet is just a uh, inside. You can hear yeah. the pellet is uh, has. Yeah, you hear that? It's the pellet and the screw. <laughs> Okay. So uh, this PTG can be extruded out. Uh, the temperature is 195 and 190. Okay. Question. Uh, now we just uh, turn off this extruder and then uh, uh, cool down. I mean the the barrel and screw and the dial are cool, uh, cooling down. So if we want to uh, extrude this, the, the PUM, uh, which can be extruded out uh, 170, uh, 70, uh, 70 degree. So when we turn on this machine, uh, we, how, how can we set the temperature? The answer is that uh, we need to set the temperature to 190 and 195 and uh, after the temperature reach the standing temperature then we just uh, turn on the uh, extruder uh, I mean the uh, turn on the driving motor because there are PETG left inside of this uh, extruder so after a time of uh, running, I mean, after a time of running, we put this POM inside, let's say five minutes or something like that. We just check that the, the POM is out from the dial, and then we just can turn down the temperature of this two zone, okay? That's it. That's what I'm talking from the beginning of this video. The PTG seems uh, much flexible than the PUM. The PUM, uh, okay, this is the PTG, much flexible and uh, uh, 
uh, this is a PM. The PM, uh, yeah, it's, I, I think it's strong, stronger. So we use this PM as a screw nut. You can see uh, we have linear step mode that do this kind of material as the, uh, the, the, the nut, I mean the disc screw nut, okay? So it's wearable, okay? And the PTG, you hear the screw is just a, a, has some noisy with the barrel. So you can you just uh, even even you just uh, just do like this. You can hear the noisy. Yeah. But this PM, no. It, it does not here like that. I think uh, the, the PM is some kind of self uh, lubrication. Okay, so that's why we use it as the PM nut. Okay. The dry motor is getting higher temperature. Now we can we can read the, also here the temperature could reach over than sixty six because that the PTG is some kind of that the, I mean the. Hardness of the PTG is some kind higher, much higher than POA or OQM. Yeah. That's why the dry motor is heating up because that is hard to drive it from the screw and barrel out. But uh, this POA, yeah, much easier. And then we just uh, after in my other video, I, I will check this PLA. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's for today's video. Uh, sex biology. Okay. Dangerous, but well, we can. I just want to show you this uh, cooling fan, uh, which are trying cooling the inlet, uh, inlet here. 
okay? I mean, the hopper and the, the barrel, okay? So the pellet can get inside smoothly. Yeah, thanks for watching. And please subscribe to Rob Dig, Shanghai. Stay safe.